again we're losing. Ah, five times less. That's sad. Obviously, one point to Russia. Salute dear comrades, old boy is here and today I'm gonna be reacting to one interesting but quite controversial video. So the name is USA vs Russia Military Power 2024. And before we jump into the video I want to mention that probably all the numbers given here are gonna be a very rough approximation of reality. So let's take them with a grain of salt. If you don't mind, let's jump into the video. This video is a dupe. Yeah, guys, just wanted to mention this video is for education purposes, right? We don't want to make any holy wars in the comments. Apparently, you're gonna be standing on the American side, and me as a Russian, I'm gonna be for Russia. So let's have no conflict for each other. This is just for education, these are just plain numbers, okay? So let's take them easy. Military rank, one, two. <laughs> I wish I could disagree to this one, but you know, all the resources say that USA is unfortunately for me rank number one. Maybe by the numbers in overall, it's like that. But let's see what exactly do they put into this number. Capital. Washington DC, Moscow. Guys, how is the capital relevant in terms of military power? Is it like the Middle Ages, the bigger castle you have, the harder it is to, uh, to get it? <laughs> or I don't know, explain to me how does the capital matter? It could be any city, it could be St. Petersburg and New York. President. Well, that does matter. I want to say that, no offense guys, but if you compare Sleepy Joe to Vladimir, right? You know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Obviously, one point to Russia. Population. 335, 144. Guys, I never knew you had more than 300 million people. That's a big number. I always thought it's kind of like more or less and i thought that russian population at least to what i remember used to be 170 million now they indicate 144. i believe the demography is not that good but i didn't know that it's almost like two and a half times more population in usa well that's bad news for me gdp 26 trillion 1 trillion I don't know what GDP is, to tell you the truth. Per capita, 80, 13. Guys, tell you the truth, I'm not very good with these financial uh, terms, so I don't know what is GDP or what is per capita. All I know is that we are kind of like five times poorer than Americans, but we have, we have lower prices if that makes any sense, but I'm not really good with numbers. So if you know what that exactly means, please explain to me. GDP PVP, no idea again. Guys, if you know, let me know, please. What does it mean? Again, like two and a half times. Nuclear weapons. Okay. So, nuclear weapons, Russia is the winner, obviously. But do they count all the nukes or only a specific type of nuke? Maybe all the missiles and rockets and bombs. I, I think so. Well, in that regard, yeah, I think Russia is the obvious winner. Deployed. Deployed means the one that is actually in use, not in the warehouse, am I right? Well, in that case, we are almost same. Russia is losing a little bit, but who knows? Who knows how, how accurate the information given here is? But I can believe that, that we are almost uh, on par. Security. 
strategic. Again, almost same, but I don't know the difference between, and here they say tactical. What's the difference between tactical, strategic, and deployed? I have no idea. Let's just see the numbers. 230. 1,900. Oh, so we have like five times more. That's good for Russia. Total nuclear tests. 15. 58. Oh, it's the so-called Keen bomb. King's bomb, whatever they call it. Yeah, it was a huge bomb, but it was a long, long, long time ago. I don't know if we produce that big of the bombs anymore, but I don't know how relevant this information in terms of uh, military power is. In my opinion, as long as the button is pushed and the rockets are launched, even one rocket is a bye-bye. <laughs> That's what I think. Maybe I'm wrong, guys. ICBM and Max Range. I'm very sorry guys, I came completely unprepared. I don't know what these number, numbers mean. Defense budget. Wow. Do you really spend that much? 831 billion dollars on defense. Well, in this regard, of course. I think maybe now, due to the Ukrainian campaign, Russia spends more, but I don't think we can reach your numbers. But maybe it includes all the things like uh, the weapons you sell to uh, third world countries, right? All the, all the supplies, all the food, all the, everything. Because I think you have more soldiers than us, but they haven't mentioned yet, so let's see. Oh, no, I was wrong. So one and a half times more active military, same. So it means Russia has more, oh, it must, must, must mean the reserve. I think it's the reserve militaries. We have like 2 million more. But as for the numbers, guys, my opinion is that numbers don't matter that much. What matters is uh, how you use those numbers and how good those numbers are. I don't want to offend anyone, but as a Russian, observing what happens to your all spheres, not only army, but especially army, all the inclusiveness, all the diversity. Again, I don't want to offend anyone, but I believe it makes the army weaker. Of course, we also have those people, right? The LGBTQ, U plus people in the army. But our army is just like it used to be in the United States like 20 years ago when we have the rule, you don't ask and you don't tell. Yeah, so, yeah, but again, inclusiveness is killing your army. I think so. So numbers, they're not that relevant. I think the quality of the numbers, it's what matters. Reserve. Yeah, two million. Yeah, I was right. Tanks. 14,000. But again, guys, due to Ukraine, the situation in Ukraine, the numbers can fluctuate. Infantry fighting vehicle, 12 to 8, again, Russia wins. What seems to me, guys, is that they already included the numbers corrected with the situation in Ukraine, because over the last two years, Russia had transformed the defense, uh, the defense segment of the economy tremendously. That's why, that's probably why you can see that Russia keeps winning in terms of uh, tanks and those vehicles numbers, because we've been producing more and more and more every week, month and year. MRAP, mine resistant. Okay, almost same. 
self-propelled. Six thousand, yeah. Again, guys, artillery is what uh, Russia hugely relies on the battlefield because though we have a lot of soldiers, but we don't really want to waste them. That's why we put a lot of uh, financing into the artillery so you can, you know, shoot from the far. Field artillery, again, like five times more. Rockets, five times more, like four times more. Aircrafts. Oh, that's weird. So we have like three times less aircrafts. That's weird because I I think Russian pilots are world known for their skill. I don't know why. Why we don't invest into aircrafts? Combat aircrafts. Again, almost same but less. Fighters. Twice less. 1100. Ah! Five times less. That's sad. Almost same. Almost. Four times less. Five times less tankers. <laughs> what? 600 to 19, like 30 times less. Now I see, guys, I take my words back. Now I see why Russia is ranked number two. So we basically win in artillery, tanks, and numbers, but we do lose in aircrafts. What about ships, by the way? Let's check out ships. Bombers. Almost same. What is AWACS? Oh, we have more, but I don't know what they is. What is reconnaissance? I can't even read it, guys. Sorry. I'm sorry. English is my third language. So, reconnaissance aircraft. I have no idea what that is. But you have, you have many more, so probably I shouldn't dig much into that. Anyways, I shouldn't know. But yeah, it's a pity for me to know. But as I said, in the, in the aircraft department, we'll lose completely. Electronic warfare aircraft. Oh, it's like to block the radio waves, right? Transports. Twice more, again we're losing. Helicopters, 5,000. 1,000. And actually, guys, helicopters. When I check the news about uh, the current situation in the Russian army, I see that every day, due to attacks on our um, airfields, right, or on our military airports, we keep losing the helicopters and we keep losing the airplanes so if we correct those numbers i think we're gonna have even less than that i have to admit that but again it's all about numbers i'm not saying anything twice uav okay same oh drones actually guys drones Quite an interesting topic. I believe the numbers given here, they cannot be accurate because what I see, uh, the tendency these days is that Russia hugely, hugely relies on uh, drones and uh, quadrocopters for all the needs for scouting, for attack missions, for uh, rescue missions, for all kinds of things. And they keep producing more and more and more every day. That's why I don't think that numbers given here are quite accurate. Yeah, drones is the, in my opinion, the best weapon of hybrid war. So you don't really have to sacrifice the lives of the soldiers. So basically it's the group of people sitting in one room in front of the computer, just like I'm sitting right now. 
and controlling those uh, small aircrafts from uh, from distance remotely, which is quite convenient. And I admire this kind of uh, this kind of solution, this kind of decision, right, to introduce more of such things into the army. So if they wanna, if the fools they wanna fight and kill each other, at least they don't have to sacrifice the lives of people from both sides. Airports. Fleet, okay, that's interesting. We have more strength. That's good. What? We have one aircraft carrier. One. I never knew that. I thought like at least five, maybe ten, but only one makes me feel sad. <laughs> okay, but if they say so. Helicopter carrier, nine to zero. So how do we deploy helicopters on sea? Maybe they use the same aircraft carriers? I don't know. Zero, 12. Okay, so we have something else instead. Corvettes, 23, 83. Okay, again. Destroyer. 75, 14. I have no idea what destroyer is, but I know what submarine is. Same. Okay. Ballistic missile submarine. 19, 12. Okay. Patrol vessel. 122. 47 to 8. Wow, we have miners. Merchants. Okay, again, we're winning. Ports and terminals. Eight. Yeah, we don't have many, that's true. Hmm? Is that it? Well, as for the fleet, right? For the Navy. I didn't know that completely. To tell you the truth, in Russia, uh, naval force, like serving in the naval forces, it's not that popular. I know in in United States it's kind of very prestigious to go serve uh, on sea, right? Because you have that uniform and everything, and you have this entourage and uh, reputation. But in Russia, not really. Maybe a couple generations ago, it was quite popular. But these days, you go to to the fleet if you live in the city where the fleet is deployed. Otherwise, people won't go. They would choose maybe special forces. They would choose air forces instead. That's why me, I have no conception of our fleet. To tell you the truth, even the air force, I am not very uh, knowledgeable in that. But at least by the numbers, I can see that we are hugely losing in terms of uh, aircrafts and in some way in terms of um, ships. But again, let's take these numbers with a grain of salt, guys. I don't know how accurate they are, how much we can trust them, how much the situation changes. And again, as I said, in the warfare, the quality of numbers, whether it's people or tanks or rockets or bullets, the quality matters more than just plain numbers. But before I end this video, I want to say that I truly hope that we will uh, use all these things as an exposition in the museum rather than an actual tool in the battlefield. As a human being, I hope that we can always find understanding and solution to any problems in an educated conversation. Peace, comrades. If you like this video, you can leave a comment in the comment section. Also, if you have anything to say, don't hesitate to write something in the comment section as well. Also, you may consider subscribing to this channel. There are more videos coming. Have a good day, night, evening, morning, afternoon, whatever time of the day it is. And as always, salute comrades.